Ladies and gentlemen, you are here. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing people of Earth. You are here with Maddie X in the middle of a Boston overdose. We are here with Hector. Hector is a young man who was, well, I gotta tell you, he wasn't smoking the marijuana, because if he was smoking the marijuana, he wouldn't be dying right now in front of me. I know I look like a like a callous type person, like I'm just I'm just letting him die. Terrible. I don't know, I I think I think he's gonna wake up. Something tells me Hector may have gotten some kind of a magic potion that seems to bring people back from the brink of death. It's an amazing thing to watch. Look at that. You hear that sound? Now they call that the death rattle. But Hector. He's breathing. See, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't usually kiss men. Well, yeah, yeah, hey, 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 we won't. Uh, all right, anyway, so, like, you know, I don't want to have to, like, breathe for this dude and shit. But I will if I have to. I'm a nice guy, you know. But, like, gave him some knocking. That stuff should be bringing him back right around any minute now. Because he's pulling in breaths. It's not late, it's labored, but he's taking in air any minute now. He gonna wake up. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. Oh, here he comes. Hector. Oh, he's making noise. <laughs> we make noise in Boston. So my <laughs> dude comes up. Hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, how you doing? I don't know. Ducked off in the corner for a minute. Came back. I'm like, how you doing? You good? <laughs> Maybe not. But luckily enough, I carry Narcan because it fucking saves lives. When the people, you might have like a, like a, uh, what should I say, like a unhealthy type lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hector. Ladies and gentlemen. Hector, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you Hector. Back from the brink of death. What's up, buddy? Hey. I hope you don't have to work today. You look rough. My man, Hector. I'll be nice and I won't email it to his mom and stuff. But see, what happens is we smoke marijuana and we be safe, you know? Like, marijuana is a lovely thing. When you got the marijuana, see, it's like, you just, look at that. People could smoke marijuana and, and, they, and they don't even know that it could have been a bad night. Could have been a real bad night. Maddie would have had to be running down the street saying, Yo, I know usually I'm running around the streets looking for fucking marijuana. This time, as it turns out, I'd be going, Excuse me, do you got any Narcan? And they'd be like, what? Yo, get away from me, you fucking homeless fucking scumbag. Yo, I... Hey! Good night, buddy! One time, right? I knock hand you, by the way. I just knock hand you, by the way. One time, right? This guy, he was smoking a bunch of fucking marijuana. And he stayed safe the entire time. Didn't have to bring him back from the brink of death. Yeah, so like I was saying, right? Like I was saying. I would have probably been like, could somebody please call 911 for me? And nobody would have done that. One time somebody wheeled away with all my gear and I fell asleep for like five minutes on a bench because I was fucking exhausted from working my ass off. <clears throat> with my real job and the street thing. Right? Oh, see the chest rising and falling? Oh, Maddie doesn't have to kiss a man tonight. Thank you. I hate when I have to fucking do that. Sucks. Anyways. Holy shit. Oh, that would have sucked. Yep, I actually, I came into the city and I picked up some Narcan today because I realized I didn't have any on me. Something told me just make sure you don't forget to do that, you know? 
I always keep it. I always keep it on me, you know. Anyways, uh, just another day in the life of, man, hey, spreading joy and happiness throughout the community. I swear to God, this is probably the 15th person that I've uh, kept here. They got to stay with us, man. You got to be here for it. You got to be here for it. It doesn't work if you're not here. I love you. Why do you make it so hard for me to fucking take care of you, you know? Shit, if you wanted some fucking marijuana. Peace to all.